Um, so when I first got my camera, I knew absolutely nothing about lens and I still don't. guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so recently I've been getting so many questions regarding what do I film with what do I take my pictures with and things like that so that is actually what we will be discussing in today's video but before we even get started if you have not already please subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up now let's get into it all right so before I even start talking about the equipment that I use I do want to say if you are just now starting a YouTube channel or if you're thinking about starting it please do not feel like you need any of these things when I first started my YouTube channel I would literally film on my iPhone and I bought like some cheap um, tripod from a Walmart that worked perfectly fine I actually still have that tripod to this day and sometimes I even still use it so again please do not feel like you need any of these items the only reason why I have them now is just because I wanted something new and at the time I was able to upgrade so I did but again please do not feel like you need any of these items all right so starting off the first thing that I use of course is going to be my Canon Rebel SL2 I absolutely love this camera for various reasons. The first is it's actually very compact. It's super small compared to um, kind of like the 80D and the 70D. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it, but I do know the body alone um, should range around like 300, 400. I think, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to double check. I will have the prices of everything down below in the description box or somewhere on the screen. Screen, sorry, I said scream. Okay. I do like it because like I said, it's very small and compact, so it's very easy to like take with me um, if I wanna do like vlogging and things like that, which I don't really do. But if I want it to, it's not as heavy as like the other cameras. So another reason why I love it is because it's actually super beginner friendly. So I consider myself a newbie, especially when it comes to like photography and I definitely wanna get more into it. And one thing I love about this camera is it actually tells you like what settings you need to put your camera on for certain effects. So I really love it. It is super great and personally, for the size and the price of it, it literally does all the things that the main like big cameras do. It also has a Wi-Fi capabilities on it, so it's just perfect and I love it and it's a really good camera. So moving on, obviously if we're talking about cameras, we have to talk about lenses next. Um, so when I first got my camera, I knew absolutely nothing about lens and I still don't. But when I was doing my research, um, the standard lens that most cameras come with is going to be the 18 by 55 standard kit lens which is actually this lens right here if it will focus so yeah this is like the standard lens that you get if you decide to purchase a camera with a kit lens you do not have to purchase a camera with a kit lens um, but like I said when I first bought mine I didn't really know anything about lenses so I was like I'm just gonna get the basic standard lens and this lens is perfect especially if you're just doing like regular video recording it's it's great it's also a zoom lens so you can zoom in and out um, the only thing that I don't like about this lens which will actually take me into the next lens which is the one that I'm filming on now is the aperture I can't remember exactly what the aperture is on here but because the aperture is not very low if I wanted to get this same like blurry background effect that I'm doing with this lens it would take a lot more effort and honestly it won't come out as crisp and clean as this one um, as the lens that I'm filming on so that is the only reason um, but again it's a really good lens I still use it obviously um, so yeah, I just, it just kind of depends on what type of video I'm filming, but usually for my talking heads, I use the lens that I'm filming on now, which we're gonna talk about. Um, but like I said, it's still a really good lens. It's a really good basic lens. I'm not sure how much these retail um, alone, but if you just want like a standard lens to just do like basic video filming, then this is perfect for you. Okay, so moving on to the lens that I am filming with now, which is my baby. I absolutely love this lens. Right now I am filming on the 50 millimeter one point, whoa, sorry, 1.4 lens and it is absolutely incredible. So honestly, the main reason why I got this lens is just for this effect that I have right now. I have always been obsessed with the blurry background. I just love the way that it looks. I feel like it looks just very like crisp and clean. 
and it's just an aesthetic that I've just always wanted to achieve ever since I started YouTube. Um, and so because this lens is a 1.4, which is, stands for its aperture, um, it goes really, well actually, actually, I really don't want to talk too much about photography because I just don't want to confuse anybody, but just know that the lens aperture is like really big and so it just allows for this effect which is called a bokeh. Um, so yeah, I just really like this lens. Unfortunately, it is kind of pricey. I paid around $350 for it, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it. This is also the lens that I have been taking most of my Instagram pictures on and I just think it's just an incredible lens. Like ever since I got it, I just feel like the quality of my videos look a lot better and I just feel like my Instagram pictures look a lot better. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why I got it. It is probably the, the best investment besides my camera itself that I have made when it comes to my YouTube channel and I absolutely love it. But again, I do wanna stress, if you are someone who just films in front of like a plain white wall, or if you're someone who kind of films um, like in front of like a backdrop, then you definitely do not need this lens. The only reason why I got it was for this blurry background purpose. Um, but if you do not care to have blurry backgrounds in your videos, then I honestly will not worry about it. Unless you do like, um, beauty videos and unless you do like close-ups and stuff like that then i think it will be an incredible lens for you but if you're just like talking straight onto the camera you don't do any like fancy close-ups or anything like that then and you don't care about a blurry background then you definitely do not need this lens okay so moving on um the third thing i'm going to talk about is actually my lighting situation so because of the setup of my apartment i personally use a lot of natural lighting to film my videos i literally film like right in front of my patio uh door or whatever door and window um so i rely a lot on natural lighting but if for some strange reason it's kind of uh, gloomy outside or if it's rainy or anything like that then I do bring out my ring light which I actually have on right now which is crazy because when I first got this ring light I actually hated it like I thought it looked terrible and I have a whole video reviewing this ring light that I will put somewhere up here or down below in the description box but it is the newer ring light and it it's a ring light so it pretty much does its job it works wonder wonderfully it works great um you can dim it it's perfect i love it um it also comes with like little what do you call it i don't know but you can like put it on the lights to like help with color and stuff like that um but yeah i absolutely love this ring light and it was actually pretty affordable i want to say it was maybe like a hundred bucks it wasn't too expensive um so yeah i really like it all right so moving on to audio i have no idea why but i just constantly <laughs> struggle with audio for some strange reason and if you watch youtube videos then you know audio is very important it's probably the most important thing essentially to like lighting and like just the overall concept of the video but i just constantly struggle with it and i don't know why but um for a mic i use the lavalier um mic by boya sorry i don't know if it's gonna there we go, the ring light is like washing it out. Um, but I've been using this mic for, I wanna say like two years now. Overall, it's a really good mic. When it's working perfectly fine, it definitely gets the job done. <sighs> However, this is my fourth time replacing this goddamn mic, okay? The reason why I have to keep replacing it is because in my opinion, honestly, it could just be me but I don't really know, but it just breaks so easily. So for example, like it requires like this really tiny ass battery that's like super small. It's like super freaking small and it's like a pain in the ass trying to like replace the battery. Um, but if you leave this mic on, cause there's like two switches on it, there's the camera mode, which is what it's on now. And then there's like the off mode slash phone mode. So if I wanted to use it for my phone, but if you like leave it on the camera mode for like a full day the battery dies and then like I said replacing the battery is like hell and then it's just like this whole thing it's just really finicky and I just don't like it like I said it could just be me maybe I just don't know how to put batteries in or whatever but yeah this is my fourth time replacing it and I hate that I hate it but like I said it is a good mic so I don't know I think maybe it's just me Maybe I just have to learn how to take um, better care of it. But until then, this is what I'm working with. 
um, and overall it does get the job done. Two things we're gonna talk about obviously is my tripod, which I can't show you guys right now because my camera is setting on it, but it's just a basic standard tripod. Um, I got it, when did I get it? I got it a while ago, um, but yeah, I've been having, actually, when did I get it? I wanna say maybe like, three years i've had this tripod for a long time and it works perfectly fine um it works like any other tripod um and i think i got it from amazon maybe for like 30 bucks it's it's a really good tripod it's nice and sturdy it gets the job done um it goes up to like six feet maybe even taller it's a really good tripod um and like i said i will have it linked down Hello. And the last thing to talk about is just my laptop. Um, I personally just use it as a screen, um, which I highly, highly recommend. If you can somehow get some setup to where you can have a screen, trust me, it is great. I wanna say like the first like couple months that I started my YouTube channel, I just literally just filmed and it was great and all, but having a screen is just really nice because I can actually see everything that's going on. So anytime I'm filming and you see me looking down or you see me looking off to the sides because I'm probably looking at my screen. And I, like I said, I just use my laptop. Um, one of the great things about this camera is it has a Wi-Fi capability so I can actually connect my laptop to my camera without any cords or anything like that. So I absolutely love it. But yeah, I just basically um, use my laptop as a screen, but I wanna say that is all as far as like filming goes, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's anything else. I'm looking around. I don't think there's anything else that I use um, to film my YouTube videos. And then, like I said, as far as taking pictures, I just use my Canon with my 1.4 lens and I absolutely love it. Um, right now, I am gonna show you guys my filming setup, but just know that it's really not anything special. All right, so this is my current YouTube setup. And as you can see, my apartment is kind of a mess right now, but we're just, we're just gonna ignore that. But as you can see, I just have a chair or a stool. I got this stool from Walmart, I think it was like 11 bucks. And then I have my laptop, like I mentioned earlier, and it's just sitting on a chair. And then I have my ring light. And then I just have um, my tripod. Um, and like I said earlier, I film in front of my windows, which I know is making the camera super dark right now. But yeah, that is my filming setup. So it's actually, Pretty simple, um, pretty easy, and I prefer it this way. Like if I had a difficult setup, like I said earlier, I would not film. So I like the fact that I can just pull out my camera, ring light in a chair and be good to go. All right, and we are back. So yeah, that is going to be all for this video. If you have any questions about anything, um, just comment them down below and I will be happy to answer. Also, I do plan on linking everything in the description box if you wanna check it out for yourself. But again, if you have not already, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon.